Welcome to Mobility Insider and welcome to Berlin Airport. Today I'm in Berlin, it's uh, November the 9th. I'm going to visit uh, the Tesla Gigafactory, um, full day program to see what Tesla is uh, up to. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, so I won't be able to film in the factory itself, but I will summarize my experience uh, when I finish the uh, visit and then I'll check in again. So uh, hang on just a minute. So now I'm back at the airport after a full day of uh, visiting the Tesla factory. So I had time in the uh, car uh, on the way to the airport to reflect on what actually are my impressions after visiting the Giga factory in Berlin. So first of all, I would say the factory is, uh, is oozing of agility and change. And the people who work there are generally much younger than people you see in car factories in other parts of the world. So. Um, I visited probably 15 factories in Germany, in Japan, in the UK, in the US, so I can compare quite well to uh, what other car factories are like. There really is a fresh breeze of startup culture at the Tesla factory, and that is in spite of Tesla employing 70 or 80,000 people worldwide. And also, every employee I saw there are wearing a Tesla brand t shirt, uh, so they proudly carry the logo on their chest or on their back. And also it strikes you, Tesla doesn't use money on anything that doesn't reduce the cost or improve the product. I mean, the uh, coffee mug we had was uh, a coffee mug from Ikea. So uh, that is a good example of uh, don't spend money on anything except if it's really necessary. Secondly, what really blows your socks off is uh, how efficient the Tesla production is. As an example, it takes Tesla just 10 hours to produce one of the new Model Ys. And if you compare that to the best, second best in the industry, uh, that would be a Japanese manufacturer, they need about 15, 16 to 17 hours for a comparable product. And if you compare to the, so the average, they would be needing probably 30 hours to produce a car similar to the Model Y. Of course, Tesla had to make some tough uh, product choices to get there. For instance, you can only choose between two interior trims and you have basically three uh, powertrain levels uh, with the Tesla Model Y. So Tesla doesn't offer the hundreds of thousands of variations that others do. The benefit of that strategy is that they can keep the production process really, really lean and efficient. For Tesla, when they design a production process, for them, the best process is no process at all. So what they will do if a uh, production process has maybe 50 or 70 steps, they will keep reducing that to 20, 10, 5 or even maybe 2. And they're doing that in any part of the production they possibly can. And the Tesla Model Y is a good example of how lean, how efficient the production can be designed if you really set your mind to it. And the, Result obviously is a really good car uh, at uh, rock bottom production cost and you don't lose out on quality. Uh, the customer doesn't see that it is more efficient to produce the car. So that is uh, really impressive. And another thing that is impressive is the vertical integration Tesla has decided to go for. Um, if there's anything in the car that is of strategic importance or which drives cost, then Tesla is very likely to produce it themselves so they have full control and they can design the production process to fit their lean perspective. And last but not least, they're preparing the factory in Berlin for the uh, next generation Tesla, the small Tesla, uh, which will sit below the Model 3 and the Model Y. It will cost about 25,000 euros and it's likely to hit the market in uh, 2025. And by then, the capacity at the Gigafactory in Berlin will have uh, been increased to something like one million cars. And then it would be the largest uh, car factory in Europe, which is uh, 
quite a feat. So thank you for watching Mobility Insider and if you ever have a chance to visit a car factory, but particularly a Tesla factory, I really recommend you do so. For me, even though I'm a, a seasoned uh, automotive executive, it really was an eye-opener. And by the way, I'll soon be testing the new Tesla Model 3 Highland, so watch out for one of my next videos. And uh, thank you again for watching and see you soon.